All right, thank you guys for joining me over here at part two for pattern number nine, this mosaic pattern. I do wanna show you real quick what the back of your work is looking like before we jump into row 10. So as you're working, you have a really pretty striping effect going on on the back. And those double crochets that we're doing, the drop downs in the series, they kind of form like a little ridge back here. I would say, but it's really not noticeable and it's not a problem with the project at all. So that's what your backside is going to be looking like. This is where you're going to be at on the front if you're joining up with me. And we're going to go ahead and jump right on into row 10. Uh, we're going to be joining on color B this time. And just like we have been, we're going to be doing a traditional single crochet right there in the very first stitch in the row. So you can go ahead and join your yarn on with me and let's make absolutely sure that we're joining into the very first stitch. That is key for all of these. We wanna make sure we go under the V in the very first stitch and not get into the side over here. And if your count gets off, that's where you're gonna check first because that is number one thing that you can do. That or missing the very last stitch in the row. So we're gonna go ahead and draw up a loop and try not to lose your slip knot like I just did. And we're gonna Drop that loop and go ahead and grab tail and working yarn and chain one. Go back down into that same exact stitch. So we're going right there into the same stitch and we're going to finish out a traditional single crochet right here. So that is what we have right there. And then for row 10, we're gonna go ahead and crochet in a little bit before our repeat starts. So in these next three stitches, we're gonna do a back loop only single crochet. So you're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing we have been doing your back loop only single crochet in the next three stitches. So there's two for me. And here is number three. Just back loop only single crochet. And now our repeat's gonna start. We're gonna start that repeat off with a drop down double crochet. So in the very next stitch, we're just gonna slide down and find that little bump right there, a row below. I guess it's two rows below technically. And we're gonna pick up that loop and we're gonna do just like we have been, nice loose tension. Pull through two and pull through two, doing that drop down double crochet. And now we're going to do five back loop only single crochets. So over these next five stitches, we're gonna be doing back loop only single crochet. So we'll start with our first one. It's gonna be right over this double crochet drop down. So we're doing one back loop only single crochet. Here's number two. Here is number three. Number four. And number five. And that fifth back loop only single crochet ends our repeat. So from here, you're gonna continue on down the rest of your row doing one drop down double crochet and five back loop only single crochets all the way to the end of your row. So you can go ahead and pause here and meet back up with me when you are ready to move on. And remember, like always, the very last stitch in the row is going to be a traditional single crochet going under both of those loops. So there's my beginning, my repeat again, one drop down double crochet, and now I'm doing a total of five back loop only single crochets. And that fifth one ends my repeat. So I'm able to go ahead and do my drop down double crochet again to start my repeat again. So you're just gonna keep working just in the same way all the way down your row. And I'm gonna stop real quick. So this is what your work is gonna be looking like once you finish out this row. So pause here and meet back up with me when you're ready to move on to row 11. Make sure you do that single crochet in the very last stitch of the row. No matter what your repeat is telling you, always a single crochet down here in the last one. All right, so you're meeting back up with me here at a row 11. We're gonna be changing back to our color A, which for me, it's these greens that we have popping in here. So, right, so you're meeting back up with me. We're here at row 11. I've switched back to my color A and we're done our traditional single crochet right here in the first stitch just to go ahead and join on our work. 
And now we're gonna start doing three drop down double crochets. So right here in this very next stitch, we're gonna work a drop down double crochet. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap our yarn and we're going to just slide our hook down and we're gonna find that little bump right there and we're gonna go ahead and lift that up and we're going to go ahead and do our drop down double crochet. So same thing that we've been doing. And in the very next stitch right here, we're going to do our next drop down double crochet. So we just slide down, find that little bump. And we're going to go ahead and do our third drop down double crochet in the very next stitch. So here's our next stitch right here. We're gonna just slide down and find that little bump. And we're gonna get up underneath that. Hopefully from that angle that is good for you guys to see. So we've done three drop down double crochets all in a row right here at the beginning. So now we're gonna go ahead and move into our repeat. So our repeat begins with three back loop only single crochets in the next three stitches. So we're gonna go right here to our very next stitch as you can see right here. We're going to go right there and draw up that back loop only and we're going to do three back loop only single crochets. There's number two and here is number three. And now here, we're right here in the center, we're going to go ahead and do one drop down double crochet into the very next stitch. So right here we're just going to slide down, find that little bump. And we're going to go ahead and pick that up. And we're going to finish out our drop down double crochet. And now we're going to do three back loop only single crochets in the next three stitches. So there's one. Here's number two. Here's number three. And now we're going to end our repeat with five drop down double crochets over these next five stitches. So if you take a look, we're in the T right now, that little T we formed. We're going to do our drop down double crochets all right there in that section. So here's my next stitch. Just slide down, find that little bump, and I'm going to go ahead and pick that up and do my first drop down double crochet. And to the next stitch, gonna do the second drop down double crochet. Here's my very next stitch. Do my third drop down double crochet. And here in the next stitch right here, gonna do my fourth drop down double crochet. And right here, fifth stitch, we're going to end that repeat out with that drop down double crochet. So you're just going to keep working in the same exact manner on down the rest of your row. And to kind of give you a reminder, over here is where our repeat began. We did the three back loop only single crochets, one drop down double crochet three back loop only single crochets, and then five drop down double crochets ended our repeat. So you're just going to keep working that same exact manner all the way down the rest of your row. Make sure the very last stitch you do your traditional single crochet each and every time in that last stitch. So you can go ahead and pause here and if there happens to be an ad, please do watch that for me while you finish out the rest of your row. And just real quick, I wanted to show you guys for as I'm finishing out this row, you know, I'm still on row number 11. At the beginning, we started out with the three back loop only single crochets, or I'm sorry, three drop down double crochets. And down here at the end of the row, we're ending the same exact way. So you ha you're able to fit those three drop downs right there. And then you can't continue on with the repeat. You have to go ahead and do a traditional single crochet right there at the end of that row. So that finishes out row number 11 for me. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to row number 12. So I'll be back in just a moment. 
All right, so we are back. We're starting row number 12. I've joined on my traditional single crochet. So we're gonna have to crochet in just a little bit before our repeat starts. So in these next five stitches, we're gonna do back loop only single crochet. So we're just gonna go right there in the back loop and we're going to do a total of five back loop only single crochet. So there's two, three, number four, number five. So now we're gonna go ahead and start our repeat. So our repeat's gonna begin out with one drop down double crochet right here into this very next stitch. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. One drop down double crochet. And then we are going to do one back loop only single crochet right here in the top of the very next stitch. And then we are going to do one drop down double crochet right here into this very next stitch. Now we're going to do nine back loop only single crochets across this section right here. And that's how we're gonna end out our repeat. So we're gonna go ahead and start with our very first back loop only single crochet. So we're gonna go right there into that very next stitch. So there's one back loop only single crochet. Here's number two, number three, number four, oops, <laughs> number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine. That ends our repeat. So you're gonna continue to work in the same exact manner all the way down the rest of your row. And remember, your repeat started over here. So you start with a drop down double crochet, one back loop single crochet, one drop down double crochet, and then nine back loop single crochets all the way across this little section right here. So we're gonna go ahead and pause here, and you can meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number 13. All right, so you're meeting back up with me. We are about to do row number 13. Just wanted to show you guys what my work is looking like, and this in itself is a really gorgeous pattern. So you could technically stop here, but we won't. We're gonna keep going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and join my yarn back on to that very first stitch in the row and get started with my traditional single crochet, just like we have been doing. Chain one, go back down that same exact stitch and pull up a loop, pull through all those loops on my hook. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have to crochet in just a little bit before we get started with the repeat. So in these next five stitches, I'm going to be doing a drop down double crochet. So right here, we're gonna identify our very next stitch and we're just gonna slide down and find that little bump. Pick that up, go ahead and finish our first drop down, double crochet. Now right here in the very next stitch, we're gonna go ahead and do another drop down double crochet. And in the very next stitch, we're gonna do another drop down double crochet. Remember when we're doing a total of five of these right here at the beginning of this row. Now I'm gonna do number four. And last but not least, we are doing number five. So now what we're gonna do is three back loop only single crochets. And I just caught myself making one of the main mistakes that you can make when doing this. And I'm gonna leave this in the video so you guys can see. I'm gonna fix it off camera, but 
right here, I jumped over here by mistake. So the way this should have lined up is my next stitch should be landing right here on top of this drop down double crochet. But I have one stitch right in here. And if I counted right, I have five drop down double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five. So I have bunched my row up. I've went over here and actually picked up the loop that was on the traditional single crochet two rows below when I was matching up to my color. So I'm gonna have to pull this off, fix it. So your work, you should actually be up here against this other drop down double crochet. So I'm gonna leave that in the video to show you guys a mistake you can make that can get your work off count. It is easy to do. So I'm gonna pause right here for me and I am going to come back. Luckily our repeat hasn't started yet. So I'm gonna come back and we'll continue on in just a moment. All right, so I've corrected that. So now if you take a look, now we're lined up. There's my traditional single crochet, my five drop down double crochets, and I'm right here where I need to be. So we're gonna go ahead and do three back loop only single crochets before we start our repeat. So we're gonna go right there into that very next stitch and do a back loop only single crochet. We're gonna do that again in the very next stitch. And last one, number three, right here on the top of that drop down double crochet. So now our repeat is going to begin. We're doing nine drop down double crochets across this section right here. So all the way across these nine stitches. And then we're gonna be doing three back loop only single crochets to end out that repeat. So let's go ahead and do that together. We're gonna to wrap our yarn Right here is my very next stitch. I'm gonna slide down and find my loop. Do my first drop down double crochet. So there's number one. Now here's my very next stitch. Gonna find that. There's number two. Here's my very next stitch. Finding that little bump. Picking that up. Here's number three. Very next one, number four. Remember we're doing nine. There's number five right here. We're gonna do the fifth one. In a way, it's almost easier just to pay attention to these little bumps and use those, but whatever's easiest for you. Next stitch. What we're looking like so far. Number eight right here. And last but not least, number nine. And now we're gonna do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches and that ends your repeat. So now from here you're just gonna go ahead and Continue to work in the same exact manner. Your repeat begins right here over these nine drop down double crochets. Then three back loop only single crochets all the way down to the end of your row. We're gonna meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number 14. Remember, traditional single crochet always here in that last stitch. All right, so we're back. We're ready to start row number 14. I've joined on with color B for me. And I've already done my traditional single crochet right there in that very first stitch. So I just want to show you guys what your work is going to be looking like. This is what we have here. So now we're going to go ahead and get started. We have to crochet in just a little bit before we start our repeat. So over these next five drop down double crochets, these next five stitches, we're going to do back loop only single crochets. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in doing five back loop only single crochets over these next five stitches. So there's two, number three, number four, and number five. 
And now we're going to go ahead and work on our repeat. It's going to start right now. We're going to do one drop down double crochet into this very next stitch. So we're going to go ahead and slide down, find that little loop, and we're going to do a drop down double crochet. Now on this very next stitch, we're going to do a back loop only single crochet. And in this very next stitch right here, we're going to do our drop down double crochet again. Now we're going to do nine back loop single crochets over these nine drop downs to end out our repeat. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to put one back loop only single crochet in the top of each of those nine drop downs from the previous row. There's number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and that ninth back loop only single crochet ends out our repeat. So your repeat began over here with the first drop down double crochet, then you did one back loop only single crochet, one drop down double crochet, and then nine back loop only single crochets right across that section. So you're going to go ahead and pause here and meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number 15. All right, so we are coming back and this is what your work's looking like. We're about to begin row number 15. So I've already joined on my color A right here at the start of my row and we're going to go ahead and have to crochet in just a few stitches before we start the repeat. So in these next three stitches we're going to do three drop down double crochets. So we're just going to go right here to this very next stitch. We're going to slide down and we're going to find that loop. We're going to go ahead and grab that up and we're just going to go ahead and complete out our first drop down double crochet. And right here in the very next stitch we're going to do the same thing. One more drop down double crochet goes there. And we need one more in this section, so we're going to go right here to this next stitch and do our third drop down double crochet. So now our repeat is going to begin. We're going to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches. So we're going to do one back loop only single crochet. Here's number two. And here's number three. So those three stitches start out our repeat. So now right here in this very next stitch we're going to do one drop down double crochet. So we're going to make sure we keep it nice and loose tension so we don't draw anything up. And now we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over these next three stitches. So here's our very next stitch. Back loop only single crochet. Here's number two, and here's number three. And now over these next five stitches, we're going to do drop down double crochets. So we're just going to be finding our very next stitch, slide our hook down, find that little loop, little bump, and we're just going to pick that up and do our five drop down double crochets to end out our repeat. So you're just going to keep identifying your next stitch and doing drop down double crochets until you have a total of five of them. One in each of these next five stitches. Nice and easy to do. There's number three. Here's number four. Here's our next stitch. And last but not least number five. So now our repeat's going to begin again and just as a reminder of what your repeat is, we started over here on our repeat. It starts with the three 
back loop only single crochets, one drop down double crochet, three back loop only single crochets, and then five drop down double crochets. And if you take a look at your work, you're now here, you're starting to come back in on our shapes. So you're gonna go ahead and pause here and keep working in that same exact manner from this point right here where my finger is, the three back loop only single crochets over here to the five drop down double crochets. Your work is gonna look like that. So we'll meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number 16. All right, so you're meeting back up with me. We're gonna be getting started here on row number 16. I have already joined on my color B in the very first stitch of the row with the traditional single crochet. So now we're gonna go ahead and get started we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over these next three stitches. So we're just going to go right on in and do a back loop only single crochet, another back loop only single crochet, and a third back loop only single crochet. Now our repeat is going to start. We're going to start with a drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. So we're going to start framing out around the drop downs from the previous row. Now we're going to do five back loop only single crochets over the next five stitches. And remember, you can always fold back when you need to to make sure you're going into your next stitch. So there's three back loop only single crochets. One, two, three. Here's number four. And number five. And that ends our repeat. So we're gonna go ahead and start that repeat again together because this is an easy one and I have enough space. So we're gonna start with our drop down, double crochet right there, very next stitch. And then we are going to do five back loop only single crochets working across these drop downs from the previous row. So we're gonna go in and do five back loop only single crochets right across those stitches. So really easy repeat to remember. There's three. Here's number four for me and number five. And then our repeat will begin again with a drop down double crochet. Then five back loop only single crochets. So we've done two repeats right here. You can go ahead and pause and you'll meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number 17 just remember your repeat is one drop down double crochet five back loop only single crochets and if you take a look at your work you're just framing out around these drop downs from the previous row and in between them we're creating this T right here so we'll meet back up for row number 17 in just a moment alright so you're meeting back up with me we're on row number 17 and as you can see, we are starting to come back in on our pattern. So we're starting to form our shape. And we are going to go ahead and join on with our traditional single crochet. And in this very next stitch right here, we're going to do one drop down double crochet right there into that very next stitch. Now we are going to go ahead and start doing a little more crochet work in before we start our repeat. We're going to do three back loop only single crochets in the next three stitches. So right here's my next stitch. I'm going to go ahead and do a back loop only single crochet. Do a second back loop only single crochet and a third back loop only single crochet. And now we're going to go ahead and start our repeat and it's going to start out with a drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. One. Now we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches. There's one. Here's number two and number three. Now we're going to do one drop down double crochet. Number 
And now we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches. And that ends out our repeat. So we're going to be starting our repeat again. And I'm going to show you real quick. We start our repeat with one drop down double crochet. Then we do three back loop single crochets right here. One drop down double crochet, three back loop only single crochets, one drop down, three back loop. So it's a long repeat, but not too terribly hard to remember. So we're going to go ahead and start that repeat again. We're going to do a drop down double crochet right here, the very next stitch. And if you just stop for a moment and take a look at your work, we're up here. That's what we're doing right there. So now we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches, three back loop. And now we're going to do one drop down double crochet into that very next stitch. Three back loop single crochets. One, two, and three. One drop down double crochet right here into this very next stitch. Try not to split your yarn. Oops. Or drop it. <laughs> There's that. And now we're going to end out that repeat with three back loop only single crochets over those next three stitches. So there's the third one for me. And now we have room to do one drop down double crochet at the end. I know a lot of you are not at the end yet. So you're going to be pausing and doing your repeat again because I'm beginning the repeat again with this drop down double crochet. But you are going to pause and keep working in the same way, doing your drop down double crochet, three back loop, one drop, three back loop, one drop, three back loop. And then it starts all over again here. So you're going to keep working that same way. And you're also going to get to see how we end out this row. So I did started my repeat again with the drop down double crochet. And into that very last stitch, I am doing my traditional single crochet. So that ends out row number 17 for us and we're going to meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number 18. All right, so you guys are meeting back up with me to move on to row number 18. We have already joined on here with our traditional single crochet and right here in the very next stitch we just need to do a quick little back loop only single crochet. So right there in that very next stitch back loop only single crochet. So now we're going to go ahead and do a drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. So we're just going to go ahead and do a drop down only or drop down double crochet. <laughs> oh goodness, get my words twisted up. All right, so from here we're going to go ahead and begin our repeat now. So we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches. So we're just going to go right there to that very next stitch and we're going to do a back loop only single crochet. We're going to do that again in the very next stitch and one more time. So three of those in a row. And now we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. So we're going to go ahead and find that little bump and pick up that loop and we're going to finish that out Then we're going to do one back loop only single crochet in the very next stitch and then one drop down double crochet in the very next stitch and that ends out our repeat for this row so this is a pretty easy repeat we're going to do it again together one more time we're going to do three back loop only single crochets there's one, two, and three. And then we are going to do a drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. 
slide down, pick up that loop, one drop down, one back loop only single crochet in the next stitch, and then one drop down to end out that repeat. So you're going to go ahead and pause here and continue on down the exact same way on down the rest of your row, but this is what your work's going to look like. And we're going to meet back up when you're ready to move on to row number 19. Just remember your repeat starts at three back loop only single crochets right over here. One drop down, one back loop, one drop down. So we started our repeat again right here. Three back loop single crochets, one drop down, one back loop, one drop down. So you're just going to keep working just as you are now on down the rest of your row and we'll meet back up in just a moment. Alright, so you're meeting back up with me. We have row number 19 we're about to start. We've only got six more rows, guys. It's coming to an end. <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking with me. I really appreciate that. And we're going to go ahead and get started. We've already joined on with our color A in our um, first stitch. We're doing that traditional single crochet. So now in these next two stitches right here, we're going to do a back loop single crochet in each one. So we're going to go ahead and do a back loop only single crochet. And one more back loop only single crochet. So now our repeat's going to begin. We're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. So we're going to go ahead and wrap and go right here, very next stitch, and do our drop down double crochet. And now we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches. So we're back to a very easy repeat. Again, so these three back loop only single crochets this third one is the end of the repeat. So we're going to start that repeat again together. We're going to do one drop down double crochet in the very next stitch. There's one. And now we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches. And that third back loop only single crochet ends your repeat. So super easy repeat to remember, and this is what your work's going to start looking like. Let's do that repeat one more time together. We're going to start it with our drop down double crochet. And then we do three back loop only single crochets. One, two, and three. And that ends our repeat. So you're going to keep working in the same exact manner on down your row. And then we will meet back up when you are ready to move on to row 20. So we only have 23 rows on this, so we're getting there, getting to that end. So I will see you guys in just a moment to move on to row 20. All right, so you're meeting back up with me. We are moving on to row 20. We've got our yarn already joined on, and we're going to go ahead and get that tail out of the way. <laughs> so we're going to start off by doing three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches. So we're just going to go right on in and start with our three back loop only single crochets. So there's number two for me. And here is number three. And now we're going to be able to go ahead and start our repeat. So we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch and this begins our repeat this drop down so we got one drop down double crochet and then we are going to do five back loop only single crochets over the next five stitches there's number two here's number three number four and number five and that ends our repeat. So our repeat begins again with that drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. One drop down and then we do five back loop single crochets. One, two, three, 
four and number five. And that ends our repeat. So you're just gonna go ahead and pause here and keep working in that same exact manner all the way down the rest of your row. And we will meet back up when you are ready to move on to row 21. It's just a few more rows to go and we'll be done. All right, we're moving right on to row number 21. And I've already joined on as we have been doing with our traditional single crochet and back using my color A. And in the very next stitch right here, we need to go ahead and do a drop down double crochet. So you're gonna wrap and you're just gonna identify your next stitch, slide straight down and find that loop. And then you can go ahead and pick that up and finish out your drop down double crochet right here in this next stitch. So now we're going to do three back loop only single crochets over these next three stitches. So we're just going to go ahead and jump in doing our back loop only single crochet over these next three stitches. There's number three for me. And now we are going to go ahead and be able to start our repeat. So our repeat is going to be five drop down double crochets, three back loop single crochets, one drop down double crochet, and then three back loop single crochets. It sounds like a lot, it's not. Let's start out our repeat right here with five back loop, or five drop down double crochets, I'm sorry. So there's one, here's our very next stitch right here. We're gonna do number two. I'm just kind of filling in that little T that we made. If you look at it like I do. And that's three. Here's number four. And here's number five. Right there, number five. There you go. So now we have to do our three back loop only single crochets. There's one. Here's two, and here's number three. And now we're going to do one drop down double crochet right here in this next stitch. So if you take a look at your work, we're right there at that peak of our shape we're forming. And now we're going to do three back loop single crochets. So we're going to do our three back loop only single crochets over the next three stitches and that ends our repeat. But if you take a look at your work, you're right here at the T again so that starts the repeat. It's like a signal for you. So your repeat begins with the five drop down double crochets, then you just do three back loop only single crochets, one drop down three back loop single crochets. So it's really easy once you you know get the hang of it. It is really easy. Not so much to remember, plus your work kind of signals you on what you need to do. You're right here at that peak. We're putting that drop down double crochet. So get that to the T, you're doing your five drop down double crochets. In between, you need your single crochets. So you're gonna keep working in the same exact way all the way down the rest of your row and we will meet back up when you're ready to move on to row 22. And so we have just 22 and 23 left and then we are done. All right, so we are back doing row 22. I've already joined on my color B up here. As the work's starting to grow, it's harder to get it all into the camera, but that's that nice color transition that I wanted for mine. So we are gonna go ahead and get started here. We need to do one back loop only single crochet. So we've already done our traditional single crochet. So right here into this very next stitch, right on top of that double crochet, we're gonna do a back loop only single crochet. And then right there in the very next stitch, we need to go ahead and do one drop down double crochet. So we're just gonna go right there in that very next stitch and do one drop down. So now we can go ahead and do our repeat. So our repeat's going to begin, and it's a pretty easy one. We're going to do nine back loop only single crochets to start out. So we're going to jump right on in. We're going to go over here to the very next stitch, and we're going to do our back loop only single crochet. So that's one, 
here's number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, and number nine. And now we need to do a drop down double crochet right here in this very next stitch. And then we need to do one back loop only single crochet right there in the very next. And then one drop down double crochet right here in the very next stitch and that ends our repeat. So our repeats are going to begin again with our nine back loop only single crochets then we have one drop down double crochet one back loop single crochet one drop down double crochet so you can go ahead and pause here and meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to our final row row number 23 all right so you're meeting back up with me we're on our final row i've joined on my color a already up here in the corner I don't even think it's fitting into camera anymore, but this is what your work is looking like, and hopefully you are loving what you're seeing. So we're going to go ahead and get started on row 23. We've got my traditional single crochet already completed. So in the next two stitches, I need to do back loop only single crochets. So we're just going to go ahead and do our back loop only single crochet in the next two stitches. And then we are going to begin our repeat, and it's an easy repeat for this row. We're going to do nine drop down double crochets over these next nine stitches. So let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to be jumping right in and doing our drop down double crochets. And you can see where you're at, you've done this before. So we are going to do a total of nine. Of these drop down double crochets so there's number two now I'm doing number three here's number four and at this stage you know when you're so comfortable with this number five you can just go ahead and start focusing on those loops you won't lose track of yourself there's a loop for each stitch we need to do <laughs> the little bumps as I, I call them earlier in the video so there's number six, here's number seven, number eight right here, and last but not least, number nine. Now to end out our repeat, we need to do three back loop only single crochets over these next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three, and that ends your repeat. So your repeat begins again with nine drop down double crochets, three back loop only single crochets, and then you're done. That's the end of the repeat. So keep working on down the rest of your row, doing your nine drop down double crochets, three back loop single crochets, and you can see what you're doing here. You're working out these little spots right here just like we did down here so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and found it very useful please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and please make sure you're subscribed I love hearing from you guys so please feel free to leave a comment down below and if you are on any of the social medias if you use hashtag fiberfox studios when posting pictures of your work, I will be able to see them because I follow that hashtag. I'm on Instagram. My um, info for that is all down below in the description. So thank you guys. And until next time, bye. And just in case you wanted to see the finished product, da -da -da, this is what we have along with all these tails. Da, da, da. So, I think it is gorgeous. I love it in this color, but I also love it in the bigger yarn in this color as well. So, I mean, you can have 
multiple looks from just this one design. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye for real now.